Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. This is a video about the, the, the worst thing about Costa Rica to me. I'm not saying this applies to everybody, this, but, the, but it applies to me. It's the worst thing that I don't like about Costa Rica. But I want to make it clear, guys, I love Costa Rica. If I, didn't, if I didn't love it here, I wouldn't be here. If the disadvantages outweigh the advantages, again, I wouldn't live here. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean I don't you know love it in the entirety of it all there's a million things I love about Costa Rica it's kind of like Las Vegas I didn't like the traffic in Las Vegas but I loved Las Vegas so it's kind of like you know it's kind of that whole don't throw the baby out with the bathwater type of thing so when you guys leave comments on these videos saying well if you don't like it then why don't you leave well that's kind of I don't want to say it's stupid but yeah it's kind of stupid and then the other comments that people seem to like to say is, well, the United States is just as bad. Guys, I don't do these, I, we do these videos about people that are thinking about coming to Costa Rica to live. We're offering some perspective. We're not, I know, <laughs> believe me, I'm from the States. I know how whacked up it can be there. So I'm not comparing Costa Rica with the States. I'm just trying, we're just trying to give perspective about Costa Rica or people are considering here because in in the mass of a million Costa Rican websites out there we do think we give some perspective because most of them like to sugarcoat everything talk about living in paradise and how great it is the happiest place on the planet well some of those things are true but there's also some issues too where that we're kind of letting you know that there's there can be some issues all right, here it is. The worst thing that I don't like about Costa Rica. A lot of people might think it's the gringo pricing that happens here. That's a fact of life, happens in a lot of Latin American countries. You get gringo priced because you're a gringo, they think you have money. Well, there's ways to combat that. It really doesn't bother me that much, and there's ways around it. Another thing a lot of people don't like, if you watch some of the expat videos, is the Tico time thing, where things just happen manana, manana, manana. Um, I still have a little bit of problem with that, but I've kind of, you know, I've lived here now, for, or we've lived here now for seven years. I've kind of gotten used to that. I kind of get it. I don't really care for it, but again, there's ways around it. The biggest thing I would say that stresses me out the most, and again, I'm not saying everybody feels the same way. I, it might even sound like I'm nitpicking. I'm saying this does stress me. The biggest thing, the worst thing for me is the willy-nilly of it all here. Nothing is as it seems. Everything you try to do, you try to... I'm, I'm a guy that likes expectations. I like to know when I am go, go do something, here's what I need to do, A, B, and C. I may not like it, but as long as I know, I'm good with it. I'm good with A, B, and C. Well, the problem with Costa Rica is there's never A, B, C. It's A, B, C, sometimes D. Sometimes you throw out the B and it's just A, C, and D. I mean, everything is a million different. You go to ask one question four different people four different answers so every it seems like everything you do whether it's banking whether it's things to do with immigration whether it's things to do with lawyers or building or business nothing is a, really a straight answer it's so willy-nilly here it just almost depends on the day that, of what answers you get and that stuff stresses me out because i'm always kind of waiting for the other you know other shoe to drop like something that I didn't expect and now all of a sudden they're gonna throw a wrench in my whole thing and I don't know so that's always been kind of the biggest stressful thing for me because I like my things not black and white so to speak because you know I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of things black and white but it just really you know I go into the bank I think I got all my ducks in a row my T's crossed my eyes dotted and it just never is like that so the reason I'm telling you this is some people are like me. It does stress you out. It can kind of be a, you know, a bummer. Other people that I know live here, they kind of go with that whole flow. They almost expect it not to, to be like that. But I've just watched people, they think they have their immigration papers in order. They think they're gonna have their, their uh, you know, their residency card in you know, four months. It takes two years because you found out that no, you need this paper, this paper, and this paper. But you told me I didn't need that paper. You said I needed this one. And it's like that almost everything you do here. So that's what stresses me out the most here. Um, 
obviously it's not a huge thing but for me and that's how good costa rica actually is it doesn't a lot of things don't really bother me here but that is one of them and just wanted to let you guys know that so you can when you come out here you can make an informed decision if you really want to live here um of course watch the rest of our videos anyway guys i'm mike lown for travelcostarica now.com peace guys hope it helps